Hello students, welcome to Pi Academy, the place for mathematics and science. Dear students, please observe this demo class and share your opinion to my WhatsApp number 9964229394. and double four. Okay, let us begin the class. Before that, please get ready with the materials, a notebook, pen, pencil is must and also scale as well. Dear students, today we are going to learn an important and also interesting chapter in 10 standard CBSC science that is chapter name is magnetic effect of electric current. So write down the name of the chapter with me. Let's take a notebook and pen write with me. It is chapter number 13. The name of the chapter is Magnetic Effects of Electric Current. Magnetic Effects of Electric Current. Have you written? Okay, then stop writing, listen to me carefully. Dear students, Please go through the name of the chapter. It is Magnetic Effects of Electric Current. On observing, you can come to know that there are two important concepts are given in this chapter. One is, could you identify them? One is about magnet and another one is about electric current. Both the concepts are very familiar to us because in our previous house, in previous classes also we have got some basic information about magnets as well as electric current. Then what we are going to learn in this chapter? We are going to learn the relationship between the magnet and the electric current that is magnetic. What are its effects? because of the electric current is to be studied in this chapter. Now, let's go for learning this chapter. Dear students, here I have taken some of the materials, observe them. Here we have a pen, a pen cap which is made of plastic. Here is safety pin made of steel coin it is also made of steel then a piece of iron eraser rubber band and an iron nail now let let us go for taking any one of these materials and bring that material nearby each of these let me go for taking first eraser i'm bringing this to each of these materials keep on observing them here no change is observed here no change is observed I am just touching this eraser with all these material we are not at all finding any changes now let me go for taking an iron nail here just keep on observing do you find anything no here also no change is observed. Now let me go for taking one more new material. Just keep observe, keep observing this material. I am taking this material nearby each of these. No change is observed. Wow, it has attracted a safety pin. Even it has attracted a coin. It has attracted a piece of iron, but no change is observed with eraser, rubber band and now you can notice that it has attracted even iron, that is iron nail. Here we have, it is an iron nail and these are iron like materials, that is safety pin, coin and a piece of iron. So this is the material which has attracted iron and iron like substances. 
and what do you call such material? It is called a magnet. What it is? Magnet. Yes. Magnet is a material which attracts iron and iron like substances. Do you call any material which attracts iron and iron like substances as magnet? No. If you want to call it as a magnet, it has to have another important property. Let me tell you that. Here, I have taken a magnet. See, one thing you must remember, I am facing towards east. Now, I am suspending it freely. On suspending it freely, you just notice that towards which direction it will come to rest. Yes. You have observed that it is coming to rest in north-south direction. This is an important property of a magnet. Hence, we can define the magnet as a material which attracts iron and iron-like substances and comes to rest in north-south direction is called a magnet. Yeah, please go for writing the definition of magnet. Right sided in magnet. Right now, definition a material which attracts iron and iron like substances. is called a magnet. Once I repeat the definition, a material which attracts iron and iron like substances is called a magnet. Have you written? Okay. Now listen to me. Yes, students, magnet is then where it is available then in what form do remember the magnet is not available in all the places in particular places only and it is available in the form of an ore then it is a ore of iron you may be thinking that we are very familiar with the ore of iron that is hematite then can we call that hematite as magnet no, it is not at all possible because here whatever the magnet is there, it is a special type of iron ore which is in crystalline form and it has magnetic property and we call the magnet so obtained as natural magnet. Natural magnet is available in nature as a ore of iron and we call this special type of ore of iron as magnetite. This is the ore of iron. You can go for writing with me. Ore of iron. Which is the ore of iron? Ore of iron is, it is magnetite. Very important, that must be remembered. Magnetite. And its molecular formula, we write Fe3O4. Then chemical name of this Fe3O4 is simply we say that ferric oxide actually its name is ferroso ferric oxide return okay now again listen to me carefully the magnet, as I said, it is available in nature. The magnet so obtained is called natural magnet. But do remember, the magnetic property of the natural magnet is somewhat less. But by adding some impurities to the natural magnet, we can give strength to that magnet and we can cut into any shape that we want. The magnets so obtained are called artificial magnets. So there are two types of magnets which are one is natural magnet and second one is 
artificial magnet yes go for writing with me types of magnet types of magnets there are two types of magnet one is natural magnet example for natural magnet it is lodestone it is also called leading stone it is available in irregular shape second one is artificial magnet that is man made magnet artificial magnet as i told you this artificial magnets are named based on their shape some if it is a circular shape we say that circular magnet if it is a ring shape a ring magnet spherical shape spherical magnet like this but there are some shapes of the magnet which are regularly used in laboratory hence they are called laboratory magnets do you know which are them here i am going to show you some of the artificial magnets they are see that it is a magnet observe this carefully neatly what is the shape of this it is in cuboid shape and we call this magnet as bar magnet and next one it is you can notice that it is in the shape of a letter called u and we call this as u shaped magnet and actually its actual name is horse shoe magnet and its scientific name is it is field magnet this is the second one third one the magnetic needle see that this is the magnetic needle now these are the three laboratory magnets let me go for writing the name of these three laboratory magnets please go on writing with me one is bar magnet second one is horseshoe magnet and third one is magnetic needle these are these three are some examples for artificial magnets now a magnet has some of the important properties now let us go for recalling and we shall go for listing the properties of a magnet right side heading properties of magnet just we have come to know that a magnet attracts iron and iron like substances so that is one of the important property and second one when the magnet is suspended freely it comes to rest in north south direction and do remember the end of the magnet which is facing towards the north that is called north pole of the magnet and another one the end of the magnet which is facing towards south it is called south pole of the magnet from this we can come to know that a magnet has two poles one is north pole second one is south pole and third important property a magnet you may go for taking any magnet the every magnet has maximum strength at the poles that is at the ends now just let me go for showing a simple activity here we have pieces of iron i'm going to place i'm just go for rolling this bar magnet in this yes you can notice that see that more number of iron filings are attached to the ends of a magnet 
from this we can say that a magnet has maximum strength at the ends and one more important thing is uh, just we have come to know that every magnet has two poles one is north pole and another one is south pole when you take any artificial magnet here north pole of the magnet is marked with white dot and the poles of a magnet cannot be separated when it is broken it becomes two magnets again pole does not get changed this will be north and this will act as south so these are the important properties of magnets now let us go for listing them go on writing with me yes first property first property is magnet attracts iron and iron like substances right now it attracts which is it is the third person that is magnet it attracts iron and iron like substances now second property what happens when magnet is suspended freely yes you are right when it is suspended freely it comes to rest in north south direction right it comes to rest in north south direction when suspended free it comes to rest in north south direction when suspended freely third how many poles are there for each magnet yes. there are two poles one is north and another one is south right it has two poles that is one is north and another one is south where the strength of the magnet is maximum yes you are right it is at the ends that is at the poles it has maximum strength at the poles done now one more important property is there now i am going to give you that before that just keep observing stop writing and look at the board here i am going to take two magnets here we have two bar magnets two bar magnets are there as i said earlier what does this white dot indicate it is it is north pole and other end is south pole now let us come to know what happens when like poles of two magnets are brought each other and also unlike poles of two magnets are brought each other here are right that no here are right it is north pole of one magnet this is the north pole of second magnet when like poles of two magnets are brought each other they start moving away from each other that means they repel each other similarly you may go for taking south pole of one magnet and south pole of another magnet here also they repel each other next let us go for taking north pole of one magnet bring that to nearby south pole of second magnet this time they go for attracting each other 
or south pole of one magnet is brought near by the north pole of second magnet here also so these are unlike poles when unlike poles of two magnets are brought each other they attract so this is another very important property of magnet what is that like poles of two magnets repel each other and unlike poles attract each other and this property of magnet is known as law of magnetic pole what it is law of magnetic pole please go on writing with me right like like poles of two magnets repel each other and unlike poles of two magnets attract each other that's an important one and in bracket you can write what do you call this property it is law of magnetic pole copy that it is the law of magnetic poles over yeah this is the basic information about a magnet and we have one more concept in this chapter what it is it is an electric current now let's move on to that yes we are very familiar with the concept called electric current you have heard about the flow of electrons if the electrons will flow in a particular direction in the conductor then we have said that electric current is constituted therefore we can define the electric current as the number of charged particles nothing but electrons the number of charged particles passing through any cross section of the conductor in the given time is called an electric current or if you want to define this in a simple way the rate of flow of electric charges is called an electric current yes go for writing that i hope you have understood the definition of electric current if not just i will go for explaining with a simple example first you go for writing the definition of electric current right electric current right the rate of flow of electric charges is called an electric current Let's go through the definition again. The rate of flow of electric charges is called an electric current. Let me tell you the meaning of the rate of flow of electric charges. I'll give you, as I said, I'll give you a simple explanation regarding this. Assume that there is aquarium in your home. what will be in that water will be there and fishes will be there assume that the whole aquarium as conductor then in that fishes are there assume that these are the fishes <clears throat> now you are going to place a ring inside inside the aquarium 
now a simple task for you are you are going to count you are going to count that how many how many fishes will pass through this ring in the given time in the given time means you may go for taking for every uh, one minute or five minutes or ten minutes the number of fishes passing through the ring in the given time it is called the rate of flow of fishes got it now you just let us compare that to the electric current concept the bohr aquarium is what it is conductor the fishes are the charged particles and ring is a cross section of the conductor now let me tell you the number of charged particles passing through any cross section of the conductor in the given time is called the rate of flow of electric charges so this rate of flow of electric charges is known as electric current we get very good we get very good information about this electric current in the chapter called electricity now i hope you all have understood the definition of electric current the rate of flow of electric charges and the formula to find out electric current here i'll write write with me electric current this is equal to write down quantity of charge divided by time taken or just you can write time time taken then symbolically it can be written like this electric current is denoted by the symbol i quantity of charge what is uh, symbol of quantity of charge it is q and time taken is it is t i is equal to q by t is the formula used to find out electric current next we know that the amount of electric current passing through a conductor can be measured as it is a measurable quantity it has unit what type of unit it is what is the si unit si means system of international unit si unit of electric current is yes you are right it is ampere and symbolically it can be written as capital a then what is actual unit of electric current you can know that by using this formula what is the unit of charge it is coulomb unit of time it is second hence we can write it is coulomb per second right or not and to measure the amount of electric current flowing through the conductor we have a device what is the device current measuring device it is a meter write down it a meter over <clears throat> okay now stop writing again you have to observe the board now let me go for explaining the further part of this chapter beta na this is the basic concepts related to the chapter magnetic effect of electric current now we shall move on to the main concept here i have left this as it is keep observing we have come to know that like poles of two magnets repel each other and unlike poles attract each other that is repulsion or attraction this is these two are the effects of 
a magnet. Then what is responsible for this effect? Means that means there is something around a magnet. What is that? Due to that region, due to that region, when any iron and iron-like substances are brought each other, it will attract. It is and uh, it will attract with the force, and we call this force as magnetic force. And when another magnet is brought nearby this magnet, it may repel or attract. That is the effects. See, for the effects as well as the magnetic force, there is a region around the magnet is responsible. And we call this region as magnetic field. Got it? Now, let me tell you the definition of magnetic field. The region around the magnet where the magnetic force is present and the magnetic effect is felt is called magnetic field. And the magnetic field is denoted by the symbol capital B. For that, we put arrow mark. It is an important definition in the examination point of view also. Please practice this. And now we go for writing the definition of magnetic field. Put star mark, two star marks and write down. Magnetic field. Once I repeat the definition of magnetic field, then you go for writing with me. The region around a magnet where the magnetic force is present and the magnetic effect is felt is called a magnetic field. Right. A region around a magnet where the magnetic force is present and the magnetic effect is felt is called magnetic field and is denoted by the symbol capital P. Please recall the definition of magnetic field. The region around a magnet where the magnetic force is present and the magnetic effect is felt is called magnetic field. Return. Is it possible to see the region that is magnetic field which is around a magnet? No. Can you see that? Only its effects can be absorbed. That is when iron and iron like substances are now brought nearby it, it will attract. And when like force of two magnets are brought each other, each other they repel. And unlike force are brought, they attract. Then such region that is magnetic field is not visible. Therefore, this field is represented with the set of lines and these lines are called magnetic lines of force. Magnetic lines of force are also called field lines. Right here. Again put star mark. Right. Magnetic lines of force. Magnetic lines of force. In bracket you can write. They are also called field lines. Let me write the definition. Before that, once I tell the definition of it, listen to me carefully. The magnetic field around a magnet is not visible. Therefore, it is represented with a set of lines and these lines are called magnetic lines of force. Right. The magnetic field 
around the magnet is not visible therefore these are represented with a set of lines also these lines are called magnetic lines of force magnetic lines of force Written the definition. Once you go through that, the magnetic lines of force, the magnetic field around the magnet is not visible. Therefore, these are represented with the uh, set of lines, and these lines are called magnetic lines of force. Therefore, it is represented. Or are. Then how will be these lines? Let us come to know the lines that is magnetic field around the magnet, which is represented with set of lines with a simple activity. Right? Side D. Side D. Activity to show the lines of force. Around the magnet, side D activity to show the lines of force around the magnet. Let it be more magnet activity. To show the lines of force around a bar magnet, ah. dear students, go through the heading. Activity to show the lines of force around a bar magnet. This activity can be conducted in two different ways. Let me go for showing in both the ways. In the first case, I am going to use the iron filings. By using iron filings, let us come to know how will be the lines of force. By using iron filings. The activity is so simple. Just go for taking a drawing board, then take a sheet of paper and fix that to the drawing board such that there are no wrinkles. Take a bar magnet and place it at the middle. Then go for taking iron filings and sprinkle them around the magnet like this just keep observing how the iron filings are arranging themselves around the magnet Absorb this. Yes, I hope you all can see this pattern here. You can notice that. See that here, how the iron filings are arranged around this bar magnet. So, what what do the position of these iron filings indicate? That means that is the force. Uh, that is the, the that is the force exerted by the magnet 
then this is called the magnetic field and observe these iron filings are arranged like in the line and these lines indicates the magnetic lines of force got it yes now let's go for again one more activity let us go for one more activity as i said the lines of force can also be seen with one well, one more method that is by using by using magnetic compass just observe this magnetic compass a very small magnetic compass is there and this is transparent both the top and bottom both are transparent inside that there is a magnetic needle where the arrow point is there that is north and back side just like v shape is there that indicates south here in the other activity again we have to take a drawing board let me go for taking a drawing sheet a drawing sheet and place it on the drawing board such that there are no wrinkles now go for taking a bar magnet and observe this this which pole it is now i'm going to place it at the middle of the drawing sheet then take a pencil draw the line along the boundary of this bar magnet now let me go for using this magnetic compass you may choose any one of these two ends as they have you know that this is the north pole and the south pole i go for starting from north pole i am going to place the magnetic compass at one of the end of the bar magnet that is at the north pole here please observe observe my finger with a pencil here the south pole of magnetic compass is attracted to the north pole of the bar magnet now i am going to mark against north pole of magnetic compass then put a dot and and circle it again go for using the same magnetic compass this time place the south pole of the magnetic compass at the position that is the point where we have marked now again i am going to mark against north pole like this you just go on keeping the south pole of the magnetic compass at this position if you do so you will get like this here i am marking i hope that you can observe yeah now after that now let us go for removing this bar magnet join these points the pencil with the smooth curve yeah this is the pattern you get if i continue on the other end let me show you that how the pattern will be you will get the pattern like this got it okay so 
this is the pattern of lines of force around a bar magnet these two activities are important please do remember now let's move on to writing some of the points second method just we have come to know by using by using magnetic compass now from by using the iron findings as well as magnetic compass we have come to know the pattern of lines of force around a bar magnet let me go for drawing please don't go for writing anything keep observing this is very important for it was also asked in the examination several times yeah just observe please don't go for drawing of course i'll give you time for drawing this is two dimensional figure of bar magnet you have to use scale and pencil don't draw like this uh, like me you have to take scale and pencil and draw neatly a rectangle then just observe and here also so these are the lines of force let me go for labeling the parts okay this is assume that this is north pole and it is south pole north and south poles of a bar magnet and these are lines of force now please go for drawing it just with a minute only it should be caught while drawing just keep observing here i am showing the direction then later i give you the explain explanation why i have showing the direction like this Draw. Okay, you can go for labeling the parts. What are these? These are field lines or magnetic lines of force. Then, what does this arrow mark indicate? It is the direction of field lines. Direction of field lines. Actually, labeling should be done with the capital letters, and do remember that point. I have already written it. Then, this is a bar magnet. <coughs> well, now we are moving to an important part of this concept. It was also asked in the examination many times. that is characteristics of magnetic lines of force first you write the side heading i'll go for explaining afterwards you can copy with me right now side heading characteristics of lines of force or magnetic lines of force are just field lines the characteristics are very important okay stop right observe observe this figure here i have shown the lines of force how these lines are there are they intersected anywhere else no they are not at all intersected 
in any place that is the one of the important characteristics lines of force do not intersect at any point right lines of force do not intersect at any point Here we have shown the direction of lines of force. They spread from north, that is, they emerge from north and merge at south. It is no particular direction, but conventionally we have taken the lines of force will exist from exist from north and end at south. Conventionally, lines of force emerge from north. And end at south. That is why we have shown the direction like this. But inside the magnet, the lines of force is from south to north. This is second important characteristic. Right? Conventionally, conventionally, they emerge emerge from north pole. and merge at south or not now observe one more point observe the lines of force at the ends of a magnet here more number of lines will be there more number of lines are exist at the poles why earlier only we have come to know that where the magnetic force strength is maximum magnetic strength is maximum at the poles therefore maximum number of lines of force are there at the ends this is the third characteristic right they exist more at the poles than at the middle they exist more at the poles than at the middle that means as you <clears throat> and one more important point is that as you go for taking any magnetic material away from the magnet the force will go on decreasing that is the magnet start losing uh, lines of force to start losing their force now another important point even you might have played with the some of the magnetic material here i have a magnet see that what kind of magnet it is what kind of magnet it is horseshoe magnet now here i am placing horseshoe magnet and one more magnet is there i am going to place the another magnet just below the paper now see that both are attracting each other why the reason is the magnetic field can pass through the paper they have that that much penetrating power likewise the lines of force can pass through the material like paper glass stone skin muscle bone etc right now they can they can pass through they can pass through the materials like like paper glass stone skin muscle bone etc
है ना ओके दीज आर दी इंपॉर्टेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ लाइन्स ऑफ फोर्स यू मस्ट रिमेंबर देम एज ए as i told you it is one of the important concept which was asked in the examination many times then how the question was asked in the examination it was like this in the let me tell you the one by one the first question was what is magnetic field and the sub question draw show the pattern of lines of force around the bar magnet with a neat level diagram third sub question write any two important characteristics of magnetic lines of force this is the way they can go for asking the question this is also important one you can put star mark definition of magnetic field pattern of lines of force around the bar magnet and one more characteristics of lines of force just uh, let's move on to the last activity just i'll go for explaining and in the next class i'll show that activity observe it is also very familiar activity for you all you know just i'll go for explaining it look at that you are very familiar with this activity in this activity we will go for taking an iron ring. This is an iron nail. Then you go for. Then you go for taking a long copper wire and go and you just go for winding it around the iron nail and connect the free ends of the wire to the terminals of a battery along with. The switch is positive and is negative terminal. Now, take some small pieces of iron or iron filings or head pins and bring them nearby this iron nail. So you won't find any changes. Now, close the circuit. by switching on then when you switch on immediately the current will flow through the conductor in the or in the entire circuit then all these iron filings or uh, head pins will start moving towards the nail why we know that only one material which attracts iron and iron like substance is magnet then whether nail is magnet no then why it attracts these iron filings or pieces of iron the reason is it has obtained the magnetic property then what is responsible for obtaining magnetic property let me tell you that when electric current flows through the conductor the magnetic field is developed around it see the here also magnetic field is developed therefore it attracts iron and iron like substances understood so this this phenomenon is known as the name of a chapter that is magnetic effect of electric current here magnetic field is obtained by passing electric current let me tell you the definition listen carefully whenever an electric current flows through the conductor the magnetic field is developed around the conductor and this phenomenon is known as magnetic effect of electric current and it was <coughs> discovered by a great scientist is hans christian west let's write down the definition of magnet uh, magnetic effect of electric current right side heading first right the side is magnetic effect of electric current magnetic effect of electric current right the definition when an electric current flows through conductor
the magnetic field is produced the magnetic field is produced or developed when the word develop the magnetic field is developed around it this phenomenon is known as known as magnetic effect of electric current so once we go through the definition when an electric current flows through the conductor flows through a conductor the magnetic field is developed around it this phenomenon is known as magnetic effect of electric current as i told you earlier it was discovered by tell the name of the scientist he is he is hans christian oersted therefore he is called father of magnetic effect of electric current <laughs> right hans christian oersted discover magnetic effect of electric current a hey student before going to stop the class just i'll tell you the important points please practice them as many times as possible one is the definition of magnetic field second one is learning to draw the pattern of lines of force around a bar magnet third important point the characteristics of lines of force and fourth one is the definition of magnetic effects of sorry magnetic effect of electric current so with this let us stop the class thank you